Hi, I'm David White from the Access Group. I'm one of the Solutions Experts here in the Hospitality Division. Um, and my peers have challenged me to film a cooking class today. Um, having uh, been an ex-chef uh, for many years, um, this might come into a realm of its own. But we're going to talk through the cooking process as we go and uh, have a little bit of fun with it. So a lot of team challenged us with making, so they gave us a couple of ingredients. Uh, they first of all they said red peppers, so we got red peppers. Um, and then they said that they wanted to have rice, so we got some rice. Um, then they said chicken, fine, breast, doesn't really matter, so we got a whole chicken. Um, and then they said spinach, uh, so I've got some spinach. And I put some additions to myself, so I've decided to make um, a chicken and mushroom spinach roulette with a roasted red pepper risotto um, that we can see sitting in the kitchen. So, let's get going. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is get some oven and get some heat on the pans. So I'm going to be setting the oven to 140 degrees because this will take about an hour to cook. And I'm going to put some extraction on at the same time. Um, and now start to go ahead and prep the chicken. So whilst the chicken's getting prepped, I also want to be looking at roasting the mushrooms with the spinach. I'm also going to have roasted red peppers on, so I'm going to get them on to char as well. And I'm going to start them up directly on the flame so that I can get some nice coloration into it. From here, we're going to then get some olive oil into the pan, get that going. And we're going to start the mushrooms off with a little bit of my makeshift garlic one of the mushrooms and some salt and pepper we want this to be quite strong because it's going to be the main flavour within the chicken And then whilst that's cooking, we're going to put the chicken there. I've got the whole chicken here. And then the whole chicken, we're just going to start taking off some key areas. I'm not going to be using the thighs or the breast just now, but I am going to keep these on the bone points and I'm going to cook them another day for another dish. And we snap the leg off, take the knife through the bone, and then we cut it into the thigh and the drumstick together. From here we want to use the breast, so we're going to open up the breast, take that down. Come over and trim up the chicken breast. Most not want to have the skin attached. And discard this as well. Okay, so we're going to add some spinach into those mushrooms. Get that working through it. And the red peppers are roasting up quite nicely. And now we're going to split open the chicken. So we take the fillet off. We start to butterfly by coming down through the main pocket. Turn it round. And we just slice into the actual chicken breast. Open it up. Giving us two pockets of chicken, and then we'll open up the little bits inside and we'll use them as the patch. So now we want to prepare the roulades. And to do this, we're going to use some tin foil and cling foam so we can roll the chicken up. Inside here we'll do a triple layer and the same again with the cling foam. For the next part we're going to use parma ham. So that the chicken can be rolled and protected as it kicks, it also adds a nice little bit of flavour. So 
So okay, ready for that. Before we do that, we're going to grab the peppers off the burner. We're going to store them in a tub. Stick a little plate over the top of them so they can sweat in their own juice. And now prepare the chicken by bringing the breast across and laying that out on top of the parma ham. Put the parched bits of chicken in there as well. And now the mushrooms down the middle. A little bit of seasoning. Not too much with the salt already in the mushrooms and salt already in the parma ham. And a little bit of peppercorn. And then we start to roll it up. Tuck it in as you go. And fold it over, allowing the cling foam to separate the parma ham. Over the back. Tuck it in the other side. And then continue to roll through it, making sure all the seal points at the end are covered. And roll it into a sausage. Comes complete, roll on the cling film and the tin foil. And again, sealing that in to make a sausage twist the ends nice and tight. Compress that into the section. Into your roasting tray. Seal it down and into the oven. Like I said earlier, that wants to be in there for about an hour at about 140 degrees. Okay, so all cleaned up. Now time for the risotto. First thing we're going to start with is some onions and risotto rice. I've used cannaroli rice here. And I'm going to use an extra virgin olive oil with a saute pan. So let's get some of that oil heating up just now. And then let's get the onion prepped. For those who don't know how to prep an onion, try to keep the core on as you slice through. This will hold the onion together as you start to slice. I want this to be quite fine, so we'll take slices across the top. And then two slices that are through the centre, push to the side. And from here, just take the cross cut, nice and slow. Through until you get a nice dice. And the ends here that I'm not going to use in this dish are then going to go into the stock pot that I've got sitting across with the chicken for a different dish. Take the dice across to the pan. And just give it a little shimmer. With the oil saturate into the onions, come back. Come back, and then we're going to work the garlic. I'm just going to chop this garlic because it's going to sweat down inside with the onions. Nice and fine. Across into the, the pan. Touch more oil. A little bit more heat. So I'm using one without dairy, so I'm normally going to use olive oil in this instance. Uh, but I'm going to add in some salt just now. And a little bit of pepper. I'm preparing my stock cube. Now I could have used the chicken bones made a little stock, but due to time I'm just gonna use a little more stock cube, which is nice. So I'm gonna add in the risotto. that into the actual onions. I'm going to add in the stock cube. 
We're going to add in the white wine. The glass in there. And we're going to add in some liquids to saturate it into the actual rice itself. We're going to lift this up. We give it a couple of minutes just to reduce and add more liquid as we go. And now for the flavour inside the risottos. What we're going to use is some nice vine tomatoes, soft. Uh, we've got some basil and we've got some roasted pimentos that we did earlier on, along with some seasoning sitting in the background. So the first thing you do is get that uh, rest red pepper, all the way. extra bits of skin that's on it. We want to get them off. We're going to use a, a sieve to catch these in the background. And all we want to do is quickly just pull our hands over the top and release that skin directly from the pepper. We want to get rid of the seeds inside, just open up your fingers and remove the seeds. Placing the pimento back on top of the chopping board. So to get this, we're almost going to make a sauce inside the actual um, risotto. So first thing we want to do is get these peppers chopped up that we've just pulled off the, the stem. And we don't want them too small, we'll still be able to see these through the actual risotto once it's cooked. With the tomato, I'm going to leave the seeds in. I'm going to chop the basil in the same way. And it goes very far into the stalks. I was keeping an eye inside the risotto, which is reduced with all the water, and topping it up with a little stir. Once complete, give it a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of chilli. pepper, a little pinch of sugar, just give that a good mix up. Taste for seasoning. And that's ready to go inside the risotto once it's cooked. Okay, so now we finish off the risotto. And then we'll let it rest before we serve it later on with the chicken. Put in the actual tomato mix. Give it a quick stir. rest until the chicken's ready to go. So, everything's on cooking, resort is resting, chicken's cooking, only one thing left for it. Cheers, I'll see you in an hour. Okay, so it looks like the chicken's ready. Let's just pull this out. What we're going to do is snip open the end of this cling film and allow any juice to pour out. Cut this 
this one. And we'll take off the exterior. Go ahead and slice it up into three or four portions per serving. And let's place that. Do a nice spoonful of the risotto. Just leave it somewhere in the middle and it should sink with the texture. Take your best chicken. And I'll have garnish with the parmesan. And there we have it. Chicken and wild mushroom roulette with a red pepper risotto. Well, again, cheers. Looks delicious and I'm going to enjoy it. Goodbye.